Hey everybody, it's Josh here from Marketplace Superheroes, and in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through step-by-step -step, over the shoulder how to open an Amazon seller account. And if you stick with me till the end, I'm also gonna make a recommendation for the perfect beginner-friendly business model to utilize your brand new Amazon seller account. So let's get straight into it. We're gonna switch over to my browser and I'll show you exactly how it works. All right, so the first step you need to take if you want to open an Amazon seller account is to go to this page, and it's sell.amazon.com. Now this is the sign up page to, to open an Amazon seller account for the US marketplace. Now it's important to note that if you want to sell on any other marketplace other than the US, maybe you live in the UK and you want to sell on, the, in, on Amazon UK, then you need to go to sell.amazon.co.uk. Similarly in Canada, it's sell.amazon.ca, Germany, sell.amazon.de, and so forth. So depending upon which marketplace you wish to sell into, you need to go to the appropriate sign up page. Now, the other important thing to mention before we move on here is that you can sell on Amazon US even if you don't live in the US. We work with people from all over the world who sell on Amazon US, Amazon UK, from remotely from a different country. So it's entirely possible, but it's up to you which marketplace you want to sell on. If I were to make a recommendation, I would say if you live in either the US or the UK that you pick that marketplace. If you live in anywhere else other than those two countries, I'd say the US or the UK is a great place for you to start preferably the US, but if you are in closer proximity to the UK, let's say you live in Europe, then it might be a better idea to start with the UK. Let's talk about the two different seller plans that are available to you when you create an Amazon seller account. So to compare those two accounts, we go to pricing and compare selling plans. Now there are two different ones available, and this is pretty much the same from what I've seen across all marketplaces. You have the individual account. I'll tell you right off the bat that this is intended for people who intend to sell bits from around the home. They're not businesses, they're not selling for profit, so that's unlikely to be you. If you're watching this video, chances are you're looking to sell on Amazon to make a profit. If that's the case, then I'd highly recommend that you go with the professional plan. There is a monthly subscription fee of $39.99. It's £25 plus VAT in the UK and different prices throughout other marketplaces. But the point here is that it's a one-off subscription fee that you pay and no matter how many items that you sell throughout the month you just pay your regular fees on those whereas the individual account there is a 99 cents per item per unit fee that you pay for every item sold so if you intend on selling more than 40 units a month it makes total sense to go with the professional plan because it's not a pay as you go it is a one size fits all you pay a monthly subscription and then everything that you sell under that doesn't incorporate this 99 cents fee that you'll pay of course, there are still the same Amazon fees that you'll pay. If you're using Amazon's Fulfillment by Amazon service, you'll pay for those fees whether you have a professional account or an individual. It's just that this charge here is gonna be made extra in addition to all the other fees that you pay if you don't go with the professional plan. If you're looking to start selling on Amazon, then you need to look at it for what it is. It's a business and businesses have costs, they have expenses, and an Amazon seller account subscription is just one of those costs that you're going to have. So I'd highly recommend that you go, go ahead and get yourself signed up under the professional account and then we can take the next step. So I'm gonna head back to the start by clicking the Amazon logo, and then if we wanna go ahead with the actual sign up process, we need to click this button here that says sign up. You can see here it says $39.99 per month plus your regular selling fees, which again, just to clarify, all sellers pay no matter whether on the individual or the professional plan, the fees are the same. So because I already have an Amazon seller account, Amazon doesn't like people to have multiple selling accounts. So what I've done is I have a bunch of screenshots that I'm gonna walk you through now to take you through the process step by step and give you pointers of what you should be doing at each stage of the form that you're gonna be filling in when you wanna create your Amazon seller account. Okay, so as we already discussed, to get started with the Amazon seller account sign up process, you need to go to sell.amazon.com or CA or .co.uk, whichever marketplace you wanna sell on, and then click the orange sign up button. That's gonna take you to the next screen, whereby Amazon's gonna ask you if you already have an account and if you want to log in. Now at this point, I'd highly recommend that you do not log in, because what's gonna happen if you log in, it's gonna link your buyer account, the account that you use to purchase products from Amazon to your seller account. Now that's not the worst thing in the world necessarily, but if you wanna keep your business and your personal stuff separate, I'd highly recommend that instead, you go ahead and click create your Amazon account. Now, you'll need to have a, a separate email address for this, and if you don't have a secondary email address, you could just go to Gmail, create a free Gmail account for your business specifically, and then go ahead and get yourself signed up using that. So enter your first name, your email address, and then create a password, and then click next to proceed to the next step. On the next page, it's gonna show you everything that you can expect from the sign up process, and it's gonna tell you everything that you're going to need. So we have a list here of valid government ID or passport. So you're gonna to need to have all of these prepared before you actually go ahead and start the, the process 
of signing up for a seller account. Then you need to have a recent bank account or credit card statement. That would be from assuming that you've created some sort of uh, business entity, a company, or you're a self, uh, sole trader, sole proprietor, then you'd have some kind of bank account in the name of that entity. And then you need a chargeable debit or credit card. It says credit card here, but in my experience, you can use both, either a debit or a credit card. And this often confuses people at this step because they think that if they don't have a credit card, it means they can't sign up to Amazon. But in my experience, this just has to be a debit card because all it is used for is if your account drops into a negative balance at any point as a seller, they will debit that card, which if you're going to be making regular sales, won't happen. And then you'll, you'll need a mobile phone for, for verification. So once we've clarified that we have everything we need in order to take the next step, we can click the begin button, which takes us to this first page here. So this is where we have to enter the business type. Now, I was just saying in the previous section there that I'm assuming you will have created a business entity of some kind, whether that be an LLC, a limited company, sole tradership, sole proprietorship, whatever that might be ensure that you select the correct entity from the drop down here by default it's got none I'm an individual but you want to change that unless indeed you are an individual and you've not signed you've not created any kind of company we do recommend that you uh, create some kind of entity because it creates a separation between you and your business so if you do have an LLC a limited company sole proprietorship or anything like that from the drop down list here what you want to select would be the privately owned business then enter your name in full and click agree and continue to proceed to the next step now we're going to have to give Amazon all the information about you personally. You as the business owner or you as the individual, they want to know everything that there is to know about you. So what I'd highly recommend is that you go through this very, very slowly, step by step. Ensure you don't make any typos, double, triple, quadruple check all the information that you enter into these boxes before you proceed. So everything here is pretty self-explanatory. Pick the identity proof that you're using, whether that be a driver's license or a passport or what have you, select it from the drop down list, enter the appropriate numbers and the other information that's requested, and then you can proceed to the next step. The last thing to note here before we move on, in fact, is that you're gonna to need to have that mobile phone number, that cell phone number for them to send a text or make a call to it. Just verifies that the number is legitimate. Uh, so once you've done that, click send SMS, which we've got SMS selected here, and it'll send you a text, give you a number, and then you can put that into uh, reassure Amazon that the number is legitimate. And then on the next step here, Amazon's gonna ask you for a bank account. Now this is really important because if you wanna get paid and you wanna get the money transferred from your Amazon seller account into your personal or business bank account, this is what you need to enter at this stage. So you need to make sure that everything is set up in, uh, in preparation for this. In the bank account holder name, it would be your name or your business's name, whichever is relevant to the way you're, you're set up. The final financial institution names, so that would be the name of the bank or building society that you're using, the country in which the bank is based, and then you've got the specific information about the account, account numbers, sort codes, IBANs, SWIFT numbers, all those different types of things. Again, it will vary from one marketplace to another and one country to another, but enter the information that's relevant to your bank account. Then you click verify bank account and you can proceed to the next step. So this is where Amazon is going to collect that, that debit or credit card to bill you your monthly subscription through. Now, like I said earlier on, the only time they will actually charge this card is Amazon do bi-weekly disbursements. They'll send you money every two weeks that you have outstanding in your account. So let's say you made some sales. After Amazon's deducted their fees, what's left will be transferred to you every other week. Now, Amazon professional selling fees are charged on a monthly basis. And so what would happen is, unless you your account is in a negative, then the, the, the fees would be deducted from your Amazon account balance. In the situation where you don't have a positive balance, that's gonna be deducted off. So in that instance, this credit or debit card that you enter on this section is going to be what's going to be billed. Then you have the billing address, which just needs to match up to the card. So if it's a business cr credit card or debit card, you need to put your business billing address in there. If it's personal, you need to do the same thing. And then click next to proceed to the next step. So now this is the exciting part. You get to name your Amazon storefront. Now, a lot of people get caught up on this step. But let me tell you right away, it does not matter what you call it. In fact, most people just name their store after their business. If you're stuck for inspiration, just go and have a look at how other people name their storefronts on Amazon. For the for many years, I just used my initials with enterprises on the end, nothing too crazy. And honestly, it does not make a difference to sales. The only thing you want to avoid is any anything that is related to Amazon's intellectual property. So don't call yourself anything to do with Amazon or Prime or anything like that, FBA, nothing like that. Literally just enter a store name and then you can proceed. And then before we proceed to the next step, you just have to answer these three questions. Some will be specific to you and 
and you need to uh, answer those questions for yourselves. But let's just have a quick talk through them so you can understand better what they are. So it says here, do you have universal product codes, UPCs for all your products? So depending upon what strategy you're gonna be implementing on the Amazon platform, and if you stay to the end of this video, like I said, I do have a recommendation for you for the, uh, the perfect business model for beginner, first time Amazon sellers. But anyway, UPCs are the barcodes on product packaging. So if you're gonna be selling products that already exist that have barcodes on them, then you can just click yes here to proceed. The next question is self-explanatory. Tick yes or no as it applies to you specifically. And the last one here says, are you the manufacturer or brand owner or an agent or representative of the brand for any of the products that you want to sell on Amazon? If that applies, click yes. If it doesn't, click no. If, you, if it's for some of them, then you can select that option there once again. Then when you finish that, click next to proceed to the final step here. Now this is where Amazon's going to verify that you are who you say you are. They're gonna ask for all the documentation that they told you about at the very beginning. Um, so your, your ID, your bank statements, all that kind of stuff, proof of incorporation of your company, all of that kind of stuff is going to be collected at this point here. So follow the instructions step by step. And the last thing to note is that after you've submitted this information, you're gonna have an identity verification call. And this is something that all sellers have to go through. You literally just have to attend a very short call. Don't worry, it's not scary, not intimidating or anything like that. You just show up, they see that you are who you say you are and you can proceed and your account will be verified so that you can start your Amazon selling journey. And that's everything you need to know about opening your own Amazon seller account. Now at the beginning of the video, I promised that I would share with you the perfect beginner friendly Amazon business model so that you could utilize your new seller account. So what I've done is I've recorded a step-by-step -step video walkthrough that you can watch just up here that's gonna tell you everything you need to know about this business. It's one that I've personally implemented since 2013 and it's one that I've had the privilege of working with thousands of people just like you to implement for themselves. So that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like and by all means subscribe so that you get notified every time we release a new video like this. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.